hello lovelies welcome back once again to my channel this is myself here it is always pleasant to have you here if today is the first time stopping by hello there and welcome kindly subscribe to my youtube channel or follow me on facebook or tiktok for more delicious recipes so today we are making a simple but yet delicious braided bread this is so so delicious and i know you will love it so if you want to know how i made this please stay with me till the end and let's make this together part of my sub's kitchen you proud to be part of my sub's kitchen you will need just a few ingredients for this recipe so here i have my salt yeast eggs granulated sugar vanilla sugar and this is how it looks like yes here i have my milk water vegetable oil my bread flour or all-purpose flour and this is my secret ingredient i have sweet potato and i'm going to incorporate this into my bread so i have boiled it and i'm going to add the water and then blend it into a very fine puree just like this so into my bowl i'll pour in my sweet potatoes the period sweet potatoes and when i'm done i'll go ahead and add in my milk add in my granulated sugar bring in my vanilla sugar or you can add vanilla extract my eggs follows add in my vegetable oil add my yeast and i'll go ahead and mix this all together until everything is well combined when that is done, I'll come in with my flour and then add in my salt. Yes, I'm not adding in the salt so that it doesn't kill the yeast. So always mix your yeast together before you add the salt. So I'll go ahead and mix this all together until a dough is formed before I go in with my hands. Yes, we need to knead this dough for gluten to develop before we can get what we want so now i'll transfer my dough onto my silicone mat and begin kneading this between 10 and 12 minutes to develop some gluten in there if today is the first time stopping by hello there my name is myself if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly do me a favor by subscribing and also hit on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a video you will be first to know and to my returning subscribers god bless you i appreciate your support so so much now i'll divide my dough into two so i can easily work on each part when your dough is sticky don't be tempted to add more flour if not your bread won't be soft instead add a little bit of oil onto your working surface and work on your dough until it becomes just like this yes I have oiled my bowl so I will transfer my dough onto my bowl, cover it with a clean film and I will set this aside for 40 minutes in a warm place please. We need our dough to prove or it must be doubled or tripled in size so we can go ahead with the next step. I will do the same with the second one and then repeat the same process until I am done with all. All the ingredients and the quantity will be listed in the description box below. Do not forget to check it out. After 40 minutes of proving our dough, this is what we have from the first bowl. It has tripled in size and this is what we have for the second bowl. Just look at that. This is what we want here. So I will punch in into my dough to release the air. And then divide my dough into small parts if you want it to be equal you can use your scale to weigh it me do fupa se we hon brodo ye aye ye we hon se me do ye aye very soft aye me 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 kama 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 e nun tina me se aye a so wu se aye bre 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 na se u tri ya aye a me mfa e samni bi nka hon e mo o de oye kakra fan hon a na fe e wati ni e di aye 
see a you try to get and get and get and get it. So full, sir, all the upper sending in a paper man. Now we use skill, now they are winning in our kama kama kama. And yes, I'm so for any gauge is an empty many gauge. Yeah, my food training in a fair. I feel we are not fear, bebo, ye be born in the sun. Annie, hmm. Don't forget to cover your door. If not, it will dry up. So this is how we're going to do to braid our dough. It is so simple. Just added just a small flour and I will roll my dough. I'll apply this. The length you go depends totally on you. And I will be repeating the same process until I get three of the same size of the dough. On the first one, we said, "Yeah, you roll it, you do it. Yeah, you need ten, ten, ten. I am a size nine, nine, pe. Aha, so nebe ya, oya, nine, nine, be kama. Inti no, if you say nebe ya, nine, 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 odi ane sa, pe, 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 pe. We anya dengra, eh, simple. Na me si, sa bodo we ni den wo. Ah, bomo di ane sa obe trebi amu ebusi, ebusi ane be jeho papa apa. So now let's go ahead and start braiding our dough. So I will bring the ends together. All the three and as you can see I will be braiding it just like this it's so simple to make you just bring one dough across each other and you get a perfect braided dough just like this don't forget to fold the ends underneath and then you will have it let's make another one and see it is so simple to make you bring the ends together and then yes just bring it across each other and you have this braided bread and then pinch the ends underneath and you are done this is just like that so simple to make and when we are done we will cover our dough with our napkin and let it proof for another 30 minutes and this is what we have here so beautiful so so beautiful now we will egg wash our dough yes you will egg wash our dough and then sprinkle a bit of seeds on top of it. Use, you can use sesame seeds. You can use any seeds of your choice. For me, I am using poppy seeds. Yes, that's what I have. And then I'll sprinkle a bit on top of it. And we are done. If you don't want any of the seeds, you can also omit it. This is very simple, but the tasting here will amaze you. I am preheating my oven at 180 degrees and I will be baking this between 20 to 25 minutes and it should be done. Every oven works differently, so please check yours. Maybe mine will be done in 20 minutes and yours may be done in 30 minutes. So please know your oven. So after 25 minutes, this is what we have here. Just look at this. Amazing and delicious bread amazing i made this on father's day for my family and i decided to share this recipe with you i hope you love it if you have watched this video till this far and you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly do me a favor by subscribing and also follow me on facebook for more delicious recipe if you really like this video please give me some thumbs up comment like and share this video with your family and friends. Thank you all so, so much for staying with me till this time. Until I come your way next time with another simple but yet delicious recipe. Bye for now. Smart click eight.